it was guys one up back here with another video and today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can create a free website for one year if you remember I already made a video on how to make a free website but that was a different method to creating a website and today's video I'm going to show you guys a different way to creating a website so why I'm uh, making this video because uh, hosting company make some changes in their website so due to that uh, some people have trouble to creating a website so I'm gonna get you out of those troubles and we will create a successfully WordPress website so watch this video till the end and let me show you how you can create a free WordPress website alright guys let's get started let's create a free WordPress website first of all open up these two website first freenom freenom.com and second hostinger.in let's go to the freenom let's uh, search your domain name click check availability now select your domain check out now click use DNS now click use your own DNS in period make sure you selected 12 months now leave this page as it is now go back to hostinger and here if you scroll down you will not see any free plan so here people ask me hostinger does not provide any free hosting plan so stop right there now go to member area now log in via your social network I'm using my gmail account here you can see this is a free hosting plan now click order now click check out now click I agree with now complete your order now click setup make sure domain type is domain is selected now type your domain here you can copy from free norm select the region and type your password now click setup okay this is the one of the error people ask me domain contain invalid character so why this happen because you made a mistake here you leave a space in domain name okay make sure there is a no space at all or you can type manually your domain name now type your password again now click setup okay now click manage as you can see status is, is active now click your domain name now click manage now you are in your dashboard but now you have another error message it says your domain is not pointing to our name servers at the moment so we have to fix this now click detail under the account so this is your name server details now copy this name server go back to free norm and paste here and we need IP address this is IP address copy this as well paste it Now click continue. Now sign in via your social network. Now scroll down, enter your details. Now check this box. Now click complete order. Click here to go to your client area. Now we're done here. Now go to Hostinger. Click Hosting. Click your domain name. If you remember, we used to use Auto Installer to install WordPress, and people have trouble with that. Okay, let's see what kind of trouble people are facing. Now click Auto Installer. Now scroll down and find WordPress application. Here it is. Now click on it okay as you can see it says auto installer no longer available so in this case we have to install WordPress manually now click in this link open this in new tab here we have to download WordPress zip file and we need to install this zip file manually okay you can click here to download I already download in my download folder so I'm not gonna download it again so I'm gonna close this close this tab 
Now click hosting. Now click your domain name. Click manage. Now you're in your dashboard. Let's scroll down. Let's see if file manager is working or not. Okay. Hostinger file manager can only be accessed with premium package which means we cannot access file manager either so we have to upload our WordPress website through FTP client like FileZilla so we need to download this FileZilla let's open up this link a new tab if you're using window 64 bit you can download from here if you're using 32 bit you can download from here okay so I'm gonna download from here you have to wait five seconds okay I already download and install into my computer so I'm not gonna do this again I'm gonna close this close this as well let's open up FileZilla so here if you open FileZilla first time it might confusing to you but it is pretty easy to use so let me tell you how you can use this FileZilla so here hosting we need a FTP access information so where we're we gonna get this let's go to hostinger as you can see we already have this FTP access details written over here we can use this or you can find these information in your dashboard let me show you go to hosting domain name manage if you scroll down under the file this is the FTP access click on it here is the same information let's copy this one let's go back to your filezilla and paste here copy your username okay now enter your password and port is 21 type 21 and click quick connect click OK okay as you can see now we have this successful message which means we are connected to our server and right inside we are connected to our server in left hand side we are in our drive okay so I put my WordPress zip file in my down into my download folder if I click on it as you can see inside this zip folder we have these files and we need to select all of them okay and here we have to double click to open this public.html and inside this folder we have to drag and drop all these files in here just like it so I'm gonna pause this video and I'll come back after uploading these files a few moments later alright guys now we successfully upload our website using filezilla and uh, now go back to your hosting group. Now click hosting now click your domain name click manage now scroll down now we need to create my SQL database now click my SQL database here enter your database name now enter the username enter password now click create as you can see now we created our MySQL database now open hosting a new tab click manage let's open your WordPress website by clicking in this link okay now we need to set up our WordPress website now click continue now click let's go here you have to type your database name now go back to this tab my SQL database so this is your database name copy it and paste here this is your username copy paste enter your password now copy this localhost database host paste and click submit click run the install give the title to your website type your username enter the password if it says weak your password is weak now click confirm use of weak password enter your email 
Now click install WordPress. All right, guys, as you can see, now we successfully installed WordPress website and uh, you can post anything here. You can click the post and you can add any post you want or you can visit your website by going to this link. So this is your WordPress website looks like. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you really enjoy it, leave a like and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.